hello good morning everybody in today's video I'm going to use Laravel Excel package to import my CSV file into database so I have a requirement to import this CSV file into a vendors table so basically it is the list of all the vendors on the cafe uh, so I have this table with uh, all these fields and this is the CSV so what I have done is I have installed this package pretty simple you can just get started about this using this five minute quick start guide to import so I will not explain all these so what I have done is I have uh, created a vendor import using this command let's jump into the vendor import all right so I will explain what I've faced what are the challenges that you might face and what is the best practice uh, to consider while importing uh, the CSV into database so this is the file that you get when you run that command uh, so you might get two model and other things so there are two contracts um, that you can implement one is two model and two collection so two model will directly uh, create a um, entry each entry using you have access to the each row of uh, Excel in this model method and then you insert it inside using this allocate model method and there is another one which is collection it's eight so hours if you use if you implement this contract to collection then you have all the rules and then you have to loop through it and create the entry into your database so uh, in for my use case I'm using this collection methods I will tell why and uh, let's uh, get started I uh, will explain this uh, so after we use this collection we must have to define this collection method and we have each rows and we create the vendor so you access the data for the each headers in this CSV file using row and then name of header so uh, this package is or will automatically slogify this name so if name is business uh, name then you can access using this so in order to access with the header name you have to uh, implement this with heading row contract then you will be able to import it like that use it like that and next I, I need to validate the mobile field so in my CSV file if you see mobile fields contain this this phone number is uh, dash sometimes sometimes number sometimes spaces and uh, it's uh, not good sometimes this um, bracket so what I want to import is only the numeric uh, data only the numbers I want to import so I do numeric or nullable so all the rules that you define here are the liable la validation rules and for to use that you have to uh, implement this with validation um, contract uh, it, uh, they say it concerns contract same thing and after using that you can validate these rules so sometimes uh, if I say numeric it will uh, throw the validation error every time when it got to this kind of row right so in order to do that so the first let's uh, let me show let me comment this out let me show you let me comment this out as well i will show you why, why i use these so now if we try to run this so by the way to run that i have created a command on console and i'm initializing class and thus just calling the import method with the csv file that i stored inside the public folder there we have and let's uh, open the terminal and run bsp artisan import dash vendors um sorry we have to go inside that now let's run it so starting import and now we should get some validation error there we go so given data was invalid because uh, we are saying that we only accept the numeric field but we are not uh, getting that so if you face this kind of issue we know that we uh, want to we want these data but we don't want these data so for that we have to prepare uh, the data before 
injecting so in order to do that this package give us this prepare for validation method that you can use to prepare the data before uh, this package runs the validation check so now let's see what i'm doing here is i'm just overwriting this uh, data business phone number so this data contains all the um, row data and we are overwriting this and only accepting the numeric or numbers only and escaping everything else and now we have to return the data so uh, let's go ahead and do this uh, i will comment this out so why i have done this is if there is no business so it will return empty string if there is um, no numeric field for these it will return empty string by escaping this and if this is empty then i'm making this null so you cannot insert empty field there because i have also the unique constant in mobile field so uh, empty string is not unique so nullable we can insert null but not the empty string all right so this will prepare the data for um, data for validation and it will just run all right now this time if we run it will not throw the validation error uh, let me show okay so it will it didn't say any validation error but this time we get the sql error integrity constraint violation because we have duplicate entries in our csv file but in database in vendors table i am not accepting duplicate entry for this vendor name all right so now we have passed the validation and we get error at this point while doing the create all right so here you can uh, just uh, normally uh, use all the try catch block that you usually use uh, there are also the method supplies by supplied by the laravel excel package you can use those uh, or you can just i will just wrap this inside try catch block all right now uh, we will skip uh, those validation error and we are logging those uh, error messages inside our laravel log that way we uh, just pass that and we will import the fields in our database all right so before doing that let me explain one more thing so i have requirement to only import those rows who contains the cafe in their business name so we cannot import this row because it doesn't got a cafe in it uh, so we have to import these kind of rows which got the cafe in their name in order to do that we have is empty when method supplied by the package which get us the row and then we will do validation so if it returns true uh, then it is considered as empty and then uh, it will not uh, <coughs> sorry inject it all right so now i'm checking if string contains the cafe name then i'm doing the negative of that if a string contains this we have to insert this by doing negative we say that don't skip these columns which got cafe in their name all right so i'm normalizing the business name so that i don't have to worry about uppercase lowercase and then we can import it normally all right so now let's go and do it one final time this time it should import there we go successful and if we see the vendors there we go we have all the columns with only cafe in their business name all right okay so this is it um, i want to share with you this thing so one more thing i want to share is this uh, is empty when doesn't work with the two model concern so it only works if you implement this two collection and with this collection method so if you do two model uh, for some reason this doesn't work so i have this use case that's why i use this so hope you find this video helpful and i will see you on next video bye